Ah, back row minutes to the world from Mr. Moxie coming at you live and direct from the home studios, you know, pretending to be locked down, but you know, I'm still gonna go outside and about to go outside and go to mess, but I haven't really been following the, well, I don't go anywhere, anyway, I'm old. So today we want to build a little bit more on the coronavirus situation and this idea where people are, are saying that uh, certain individuals in the true community are saying the coronavirus is fake. That's not what we're saying. That's nothing that we've said or stated. So as I said before, most um, of your information about any virus can be found on the CDC. If you get a defined definition, you know they've changed it up to this novel coronavirus um, ritual. But basically put, um, see coronavirus is any group of RNA viruses that cause a variety of diseases in humans and other animals. So it's nothing new. It's not a new word. It's not a word that we made up. Um, usually in humans, coronavirus cause respiratory tract infections that are typically your mouth, such as some cases of common cold and uh, rare forms of, let me go to, uh, go on to Wikipedia when they talk about that. And also the CDC website talks about the same thing. So we talked about severe acute uh, respiratory syndrome symptoms. A lot of times if you have um, sinus infections, uh, a lot of people suffer from respiratory infections. Those are the common things that go along with the coronavirus. And when they say it's not the flu, well, that's the truth. It's not the flu. So it is a real thing. So we never said it wasn't real. The problem is, is this new coronavirus. That's the problem. That is the situation. And I'm going to tell you why they do certain things. So first thing they did, they took coronavirus, which is real, and they put novel in front of it and now they're calling this the novel coronavirus it's a new illness that can affect lungs and areas that caused caused by a virus called coronavirus that's the same thing as the same thing as the coronavirus so the only thing you got now is actual live statistics of people who actually get the coronavirus every year because there's never really any statistics about that i know of people who used to get Corona type viruses like three times within a month because their sinuses were so bad. So, you know, it's now actual real time statistics. And yes, millions of people probably walk around with these viruses. Some might be affected, some not. But, you know, there's no cure for a virus. The only thing we have is antibodies. And we hope that our body is able to fight off of those antibodies, kind of fight off. So the body, it naturally creates things that help us fight off certain viruses. That's why you get fever and stuff like that. It's just your body trying to defend itself the best it can, but in the process, a fever can kill you, but the body's still trying to protect itself the best it can. So what does the word novel mean? So why did they create or use the word novel? You gotta watch everything these people do. So novel. So novel is a relatively long work of narrative fiction, normally written in prose form and which is typically published as a book. So a fictitious prose narrative, a book of length typically typically representing a character in action with some degree of uh, realism. So they, it has to have realism. So it's a novel. They're creating a novel as they go along. It's narrative every day. The president gets on TV with Mike Pence, the man who always made jokes about who looks like he'll get you to vote for the purge which he's doing right now if you vote for a type of purge lying in your face talking about he's holy and he goes to church ain't nothing but the devil incarnate himself but they're creating the novel as they go along and they do it in your face the mockery is well we'll slap novel in front of it and say novel which is no they're talking about novel they're creating a story as they move forward Somebody didn't add to my feed, I'm gonna add it. All right. All right, so another part of this is continued mockery. Uh, if we got the time, 
Uh, we got the Tom Hanks and his wife, Rita Wilson, tested positive for COVID-19. The cold, the castaway star has given his fans a new update on his health through his official Twitter account. And he's typing on this Corona typewriter. This is mockery. So he's mocking you. So Tom Hanks is at the house with millions of us other celebrities talking about I have the coronavirus, which who knows if he does or not. And he's mocking people who are afraid of something that they believe could kill him, but basically Tom Hanks knows it can't kill him. That's the mockery. So he puts a old fashioned coronavirus on a picture inside of a uh, uh, message that he sends to the public. And this is the mockery piece. They get the athletes to come out to mock you because the thing that you have, if you have the antibodies and you know we need additional antibodies, that's why we created things like amoxicillin and stuff like that to help us fight off. Is there a cure for a virus? No, it's not a cure. So if you read the movie, if you watch the movie Outbreak, which came out in 1995, which kind of talks about a lot of things that are taking place now, but in Outbreak, it was a forced uh, quarantine of a town. Forced quarantine of a town. Uh, they had a, out, of course, the virus came from Africa and the monkey theory, because only monkeys are in Africa. So, of course, the virus had to come from Africa. It was one of those warm weather viruses. And that's my fear here that they use this coronavirus, get a warm weather virus, because I, I, I tell you, watch the movie Outbreak, because you get to see how they have viruses just stored up, which they do. They have millions of viruses stored up that they've collected over the years, and they can take any one of those viruses, take the novel, the novel coronavirus, and turn that into the novel coronavirus, and keep telling you, well, that's coronavirus. No, that's them doing what they do best, biological warfare on people and they've done it in the past and they can do it again so that was makes this dangerous because they have various viruses so watch outbreak you'll see how they store up these viruses after they get them from certain countries and they save them for biological weapons and at any time they can utilize these weapons on people and that's what makes these people dangerous and they'll say well that's the coronavirus is mutated to another strand which is not going to be the truth that's going to be them releasing probably a warm weather virus on the people actually killing people so once these warm weather viruses some of them get out you know, there's no true antibodies for a lot of these warm weather viruses you have a lot of these outbreaks in africa where a lot of people die as um due to the fact that they can't get the antibody quickly. But these demons already have the antibody. Don't think they're gonna drop a virus on you and they ain't got no antibodies to be able to fight it off. Cause they definitely do, but that what makes them dangerous. So watch the movie Outbreak, you kind of get kind of a sense of, you know, how viruses work. There are no cures for viruses, only antibodies. And usually those antibodies come from the person who's carrying the virus. So they'll break that part down. So in our body, we do have the ability to fight off certain viruses. We just need help. So the mockery continues, of course, Harvey Weinstein, the guy who they just put in prison, probably will get out because now he has the coronavirus. And you know, he's gonna be let out of prison. Probably a die, so they'll say he died from the coronavirus. Continued mockery of, of, the, of, um, of our people. And that's all this is about, mockery after mockery after mockery. So, you know, people are really getting the coronavirus. Yes, they are. But the fear part is the dangerous part because they take something that's real and turn it into uh, their events that take place that aren't, aren't the real parts of the event. So a lot of people who are dying have pre-existing conditions, immune system are already weak. And like I say, if you've ever had any strand of coronavirus or you know you wish you were dead and sometimes it can get to the point where you know you might be have to be hospitalized because you know chest fills up pneumonia can occur fevers are running you're sweating all sorts of stuff just trying to fight off the virus so you know it's hell going through any coronavirus um, symptoms and you kind of having to deal with it and when all you got is antibodies and you know a prayer that your body can fight it off that's why they gave you that Z packs and stuff like that and tell you to stay in the house and quarantine yourself for 14 days. These are things they've been doing. This is nothing new, but they're acting like this is all new stuff. This is stuff they always tell you to do. So it's not like it's something new. 
All right, so let's go to our breakdown of words. Antibodies. Antibodies in full reduction is 44. 44 is kill. Antibodies do kill viruses. 53 is a 16th prime number. We'll talk a little bit about 16. See a lot of vibrations inside of this with 53 numbers like that. Uh, numbers of masonry. Um, Masonic is 74. We talk about uh, the key part of 74. Jesus is 74. Muhammad is 74. Most of your prophets are 74. Uh, 29 is 10, 38 is the number of death, 43, remember we did our piece on my name is Joe, that's why I, uh, uh, Roman Reigns came off stating my name is Joe, he was just identifying himself as being a mason at the time. So let's get into COVID, COVID vibrates of course with antibodies, COVID vibrates with antibodies, anything dealing with the virus vibrates with 53. So COVID vibrates with antibodies. Um, both have 53 um, gematria. Okay. Corona has 66 gematria. 66 is revelation. Uh, Corona also has 33 numerology. It's um, gematria, my fault. So 33, of course, is our number of masonry. They're magic, they're, they're, they're magic number in a way. So that's why they use Corona. Corona also talks about a crown. Corona has another definition that I saw yesterday. It talks about a crown. We talk about the return of the king, the coming king. And now you just put in Corona. The first thing you get on your search is COVID-19. I mean, it's two different. Corona is a term within its own. So corona is a damn beer. And the first thing I get is COVID-19. So they, they try to manipulate and, and, and kind of control where you go. All right, so I want to click on the definition. A usually colored circle often seen around a close to luminous body, uh, such as the sun or the moon. So automatically, Corona, not only we go into the terms of it being about a king, but then we go back into the sun worship and the moon worship. Remember now, a lot of this is taking place, you know, as we enter the spring equinox, um, as we enter the first day of spring. So we talk about the death of winter and the birth of spring. A lot of this is taking place. So this is the second, second day, of, third day of spring, actually. So we're moving from the birth to the, the death of death of winter to the birth of spring. So when you talk about in the Bible, those three days, those three days of this period where we had a death and the resurrection of the sun. So the sun dies and then the sun is resurrected inside of this period. So if you um, do a lot of your studies with um, numerology, you'll learn a lot about in astrology. You learn a lot about why they use the cross and how they come through different cycles based upon all the signs of the zodiac. Zodiac is very, very, very powerful, very important to these people, very important to the rituals of the world. So the death into the birth. So when they talk about the sun in the Bible, they're just talking about the sun itself. The physical sun has died for a while and then is resurrected on the third day. It comes back during the spring equinox. All right, so population control is 83. Population control is 83. Population control is also 88. You see, Trump is 88. Trump is the population control president. They brought him in for population control. They pop brought him in for this um, economic crash. Trump is also 83. So this is why Trump has been chosen and picked during this situation. Coronavirus is 83. See how those words vibrate? So that's why these things are going on at the same time. So we say that the energy is vibrating. They brought in Trump not only to crash the economy, but they also brought him in for population control. He's going to be their president who's going to take lives. So, you know, we're back in that period where lives will be, lives will be taken. Virus is 44, and then we see virus is 53. It vibrates with antibodies. It also vibrates with uh, yeah, vibrates with antibodies. So the, the vibration also vibrates with COVID. See, COVID is 53. 53 is 16. And I think I grabbed a number 16. So the number 16 is the indication of material power. Indication and achievement of material power. And that's pretty much where these folks' mind state is. It's all about material power. Um, it also talks about 
and uses the word emanation. So being considered as the final number of emanation of the emanation, it represents the incarnation completed. Incarnation. So emanation is an idea of cosmology or uh, cosno, cosno, cosnojani, know, cosmojani of certain religious of philosophical systems, 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 in emanate, in, 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 emanation, is emanation, my fault, from the Latin's in manner, meaning to flow from or to pour forth out of this mode, this is the mood mode by which all things are delivered from the first reality or principle. All things are derived from the first reality of perfect God by steps, a degradation to lesser degrees of first reality of God. So, playing with the ideas of reality. So, definition of action of emanation, how to use emanation in the sentence. So, playing with the ideas of reality. First reality, going back to the first and last, we talk about the alpha and omega, changing your sense of what reality is going to look like. And that's what they're doing right now. They're slowly but surely changing our sense of what reality is going to look like. So we're moving from this this reality here going into the next. They call that the new world order. That's what the new world order is. They redo reality, change your perception of reality. So when I'm talking about seeing one form of reality, but also being able to look at another form. So today we could be living like this tomorrow life could be mad max beyond the thunder dome then the next day it could be back like this it's constant changing of, of realities no reality should stay the same you should always see in various realities and that's how these people see life they don't see life in one reality i get up i go to work i cook my breakfast i talk to my co-workers they see that reality but then they see all these other realities that they know they can, can create because this is a creation of a new reality for everybody we were used to getting up, going to work, uh, drinking our coffee, talking to our coworkers, go to the bank, pay our bills. That's only one reality. So they've changed your reality right now. Now your reality is shelter in place. I might get a daily virus. I don't know how things are gonna be. Then reality can change again. They are controlling the novel. They're controlling the script. That's what they're doing. And that's what makes these people so dangerous, the power to be able to change scripts at any time. And they've done it for centuries. This ain't no just happening this period. We're just living through this change of reality. But this change of reality was already gonna be coming. If you read your holy books, and especially if you read Revelation, the creator was already gonna bring forth his own change. And that's what they're scared of. The new reality that the creator's gonna bring is the, is the thing they're running from. And that's what they can't stop. Can't stop the bum rush, as I say. That's the piece they can't stop. So, we saw a lot of use of the number 23, and I think I got some 23 in here somewhere. I want to talk about. Saw that, but I saw some 23. I gotta remember what I saw. Right. But I'm not gonna drive you guys crazy. That. Well, anytime you see the number 23, if we use the number 23 in occult rituals, we're tapping into the manipulated mind control field of the artificial lunar forces. Remember, everything these people do is created energy, fear is created energy. Everything vibrates off the moon. So a lot of a lot of their rituals are moon rituals. They don't they're not people of the sun. They're telling you who they are. They're, they're more comfortable with the moon. That's when we talk about Ishtar worship and stuff like that. They're not comfortable with the worship of Ra and worshiping, worshiping, worshiping the sun. And this is manipulated mind control using that energy. So build the energy. We talk about death energy, sex energy, uh, Fear as energy, anything they can use to build the energy. Because remember, they still got to open the portal. That's what this is all about. At the end of the day, it's all about them opening that goddamn portal. They're still trying to open the portal to let in what they want to come in because they think this thing is going to help, help, help defend them in their mind state. And we'll take our word portal that we use a lot. 
the portal. Now let's just use CERN. So we're talking about they want to open the CERN. They need this energy. CERN is 23. CERN is also 23, 22, the master building number. And CERN is 40. So you've been hearing a lot of 40 inside this coronavirus situation. Fauci, a lot of people talking about 40 inside of this. Also 41 to 13, the number of change. So they're on this mission to build the CERN, build the portal and open the portal. They're the master builders of the portal and they're using the coronavirus and an incident to create enough energy. Also CERN is 53, we see. So they're creating all this energy using the coronavirus to open this portal. Remember we say San Francisco is the place where the portal is going to open because that's where they believe that the Antichrist will come through. Or well, their vision of this, this Antichrist, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Is, these people are crazy. They think a demon is going to come through and save them. That's their, really their mind state. They're going to let something, let something in. Remember we started off in the Golden State when Kevin Durant got traded to Golden State. That was during the July 4th period. That was the beginning of us being in Oakland and then really putting us in Oakland. Now we got Camilla Harris, things like that. Let's put Camilla Harris in there. I want to see what she vibrates with. What we got with Camilla. So Camilla is 66 with the number of Revelation. Uh, we got some 87, we got some 57, but the, the 66 number of Revelation for Camilla Harris. Camilla is 47 47 is the number foundation 43 is also some masonic numbers in that 17 and 44 the kill code and 43 so all over the place camilla herself has uh has numbers that are very important to the ritual that's why she was selected and she will be selected moving forward for this ritual miss camilla harris get Camilla Harris because you search sometimes they pull up all sorts of crap and here's Cam Camilla or Kamala my fault so we spelled her name wrong so we need to go back we spell her name wrong let's see if that changes anything okay so Kamala's 39 Kamala 39 the New York number 21 12 12 is the number of completion so that does change her numbers 9 is the number of completion 42 the nigga number Staple it on Kamala's name, nigga number all into her name. 21. 21 is supposed to be a, a, a lucky number in cars, but we know how that turns out, some of these numbers. Okay, Kamala, and then we have to do it again because we messed it up. All right, Kamala, Kamala Harris 58. You know, that's the number of masonry. 112. Harris is 73, 37, 46, a number of sacrifice, also 44, 53. You still get those, some of those same numbers um, attached to Kamala. Let's see if her name has a meaning. Let's pull up a meaning for her name. Sometimes they'll pick a person and then the, the name could have a meaning. Kamala Harris, born. October 20th, 1964. She's 55 right now. Going into the election, she'll be 56 years old. Remember, we talked a lot about 56. You heard people talk about 56 in this ritual, a whole bunch. So perfect age. She got the perfect age to roll into this ritual. So Kamana means lotus. Kamada, Kamala means lotus. Lotus. That's what Kamala means. It's lotus. Lotus. We'll define that. So a, lower, a legendary plant whose fruit induces a dreamy forgetfulness and an unwillingness to depart. The flower of sacred lotus as a symbol of Asian art and religion. Remember, she's um, part um, Indian, but a uh, legendary plant whose fruit induces a dreamy forgetfulness and an unwillingness to depart. So she might be used to make black people forget everything that's just that has taken place over the next couple of months. Remember, according to uh, event. 
201 in month six, that's when things are supposed to get bad. That's why I bring you back the outbreak that they could possibly release a biological weapon and call it the coronavirus. If they do that, that is a lie. Remember, the coronavirus can only survive in cold temperatures. It's not a hot weather virus. Most of your hot weather viruses are in Africa. And if you see, you see, you don't see any cases of coronavirus in Africa because it's too damn hot. You don't have cases in Mexico. It's too damn hot in certain places. So any place where there's heat, you're going to have certain viruses. And you have your viruses that survive in warm weather, viruses that survive in hot, in hot weather, in uh, cold weather. All right, so a lot to, content, to continue to disseminate. The lie convention continues to go on. Coronavirus is real. We never said it was fake. But can you overcome the symptoms? Yes. Is there a cure? No, there's not a cure. It's not a cure for coronavirus. The only thing for any virus, if you watch the movie Outbreak, is you can create antibodies that will help your body fight off the virus or infection. It's the only thing you have that can fight and stop a virus is your own self, really. And antibodies that you get from the host that help you fight off whatever virus it is. So we're not saying it's not real, but is it as deadly as they want to portray? No, it's not. If they give you what you need and what the problem is, you go to the doctor, they're not trying to give people what they need. Whatever else they got out there, which they do, they got to have another live virus out there. It's affecting people that have um, uh, pre-existing conditions. So you definitely want to be on the watch for going outside if you know you have a weakened immune system from various uh, pre-existing pre conditions. You definitely want to be on the watch. But uh, if you definitely want to be on the watch moving forward for the next couple of months, it's going to get warm. They can't sell the cold weather lie forever so they'll only let the only thing they can sell to the outbreak is the mutation of the virus lie so they can say whether well, the virus strand changed up it's not the strain stance same trans and mutated into something else and now it's a warm weather virus that's the way they're going to sell the lie and if they do that that's a virus that they have delivered into a populace and some of these viruses they got they kill within a matter of days so you got to be very very um, watchful uh, what these people's next agenda move is. We in lockdown. We talked about lockdown, so this is no mystery. And in a minute, we're going to be in martial law because they're going to bring the military in under the guise of they're trying to help you. They're trying to keep us safe. Social distancing is just the practice of not allowing us to communicate and talk about what they're doing and protest what they're doing because this is a freedom grab. They're going to try to see if they, how much of your freedom can they take under the, the illusion that you might get sick. And that's the lie, the illusion. Every time we go outside, we are vulnerable. We're vulnerable to illness. We're vulnerable to something happened to us. So it's not like we don't live without vulnerability. But this lie that, you know, being around people. And then here's the ridiculousness of the lie. Where you can't go to church, but you can go to the grocery store that's full with all these people. That's just, that's the common sense of the lie. Shouldn't the grocery store be shut down since everybody's at the grocery store? But... You know, now they got lines. Oh, we're going to line up a certain amount of people. You're in the line. There's no social distancing in that line. People are around each other. So it's just lie after lie. You're touching stuff that could have virus on it. It's just lie after lie after lie. And the lie is they don't want us to communicate about what's going on. So the manipulation of the situation, mind control, getting you caught up in the fear of the situation first, spreading the fear around, getting us to stop trusting each other because that's what's going on now. We at odds. People are disagreeing about this. So we got them not trusting each other. We got family members not trusting family, friends not trusting friends. And that's what they need. So when they go into the next phase of this, it's easier because the military is coming to your town. If you've been watching the news, they're already setting up shop. And if you watch Outbreak, what they did in Outbreak is you had it. You had, you had to come with the military to their camp. And that's what we headed to. That is where we headed to. So got to be very careful inside of this period here because the game intensifies. They need that energy. I mean, they got to create as much energy as they can so they can open up this CERN, open up this portal, and let whatever they trying to let in, in. Because that's the whole thing. And they use a 40. It's just talking about that CERN, building that energy. And the more energy they need through death, through fear, they got to keep building. They got to keep building. That's that plan at the end of the day. So 
like I said, we still got Oakland watch. People in Oakland, be very, very mindful. That ship is still out there. They ain't saying nothing about it. So we're watching to see what they do with this ship and what takes place and how that affects Oakland because whatever happens in Oakland is gonna affect that bridge. So let's, very, let's be very mindful and very conscious of what's going on. It's a time for consciousness and mindfulness and paying attention. You can't be lost in the fall, drinking all day, smoking and doing drugs. You need a focused mind right now. Because the only way you're gonna beat the enemy is to be focused. You can't beat the enemy high. You gotta beat the enemy being focused. Mr. Mockley Back Row Ministry, stay safe, stay alert, stay vigilant, protect your families at all costs. Peace.